Greetings from the bravest country in the world. I am grateful for these awards, for your attention to Ukraine and to the work of the Ministry of Digital Transformation. Recognizing us as a cyber nation is important not only for me and our team, but for thousands of volunteers who are together with us fighting on the cyber front line. Despite full-scale war, despite cruise missile attacks and incredible damage, we still manage to be attacked by a near. I do believe cybersecurity is a basis of the digital state we have been building since the establishment of the ministry. Actually, a reliable cyber sphere is one of the reasons why we made it through the first days of war. When the world didn't believe in Ukrainian capabilities to do it, 83 days after, we still hold the defense on all fronts. Our brave fighters have already shown that second army of the world are just a looters and murderers. It's important that the myth about the legendary hackers groups of the Russian Federation is also destroyed. For the last eight years, Ukraine has been under cyber attacks coming from Russia all the time. Of course, cyber attacks during the war became even more intense. In almost three months of the war in Ukraine, at least six groups of Russian hackers carried out more than 430 cyber attacks. The main targets for Russia are Ukrainian state information sources and critical infrastructure. However, they never managed to the significant damage to our economy, army or citizens by their cyber attacks. It's important to mention that we have never attacked Russian in cybersphere, only defended ourselves. Everything changed dramatically on February 24. First World Cyber War. These words sound like something fantastic, but it's happening now. This is completely unique experience not only for us, but for the whole world. Modern war requires modern solutions. World's first IT army, initiative that the world hasn't met before as well. We created it in the very first days of the war. Now there are about 300,000 participants. IT army of Ukraine brings together both Ukrainian and international IT specialists. All cyber soldiers joined on a voluntary basis. Just like on the military front, cyber warf warfare is also about changing strategies and tactics. Majority of achievements I cannot dis disclose at this point. We will be happy to share more information and our best practices as soon as Ukraine wins and Russian tanks leave our territory. Living next to such a neighbor, we had to work on our cybersecurity, invested in this area, cooperated with international par partners, and attracted the best specialists. Successful countering attacks is possible thanks to the efficient coordination between state and businesses. Everything works well also in government agencies responsible for Ukrainian cybersecurity. The whole world today sees the power of Ukrainian cyber army, the power of our informational resistance and digital blockade of Russia. And we will continue until we win. I believe that day is coming soon. Our motto is life will win over death and the light will win over darkness. Come to the light cyber side. Slava Ukraini! Slava, thank you very much. May the light side prevail. And now, may I introduce the person who will collect the prize on behalf of Mr. Fyodorov. May I invite to the stage Director General of the Directorate for European Integration at the Ministry of Digital Affairs of Ukraine, Ms. Gulsana Mamedieva. Gulsana, congratulations. Thank you for Thank you. your support and congratulate for your cyber power. Please continue. We're keeping our fingers crossed for your country and uh, w welcome the collaboration in the cyber sphere. Thank, Thank you. you.
Can we ask you for an address? Thank you very much. And um, this is a great honor for Ukraine and for Mikhail Fedorov. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here today personally, but uh, I want to express uh, sincere gratitude to Poland and to Polish nation, to European community for strong and joint support Ukraine and condemnation of Russian military aggression. Uh, Ukraine have been shown impossible. We were able to stop the enemy who is far outnumbers us in troops and in terms of weapon, but actually many people didn't believe that Ukraine can stand more than a few days. But today is the 83rd day of war and we are confident. But it is impossible to defeat such a big country on your own. Therefore, we ask for your maximum strong and united support for this war to stop. Thank you very much.